The Miami Dolphins were charged with their first difficult set of decisions regarding their 2021 roster on Tuesday. The NFL had a cut deadline in place to get rosters to the new threshold of 85 players per team. For the Dolphins, the true roster limit is 86 thanks to the presence of international player Derval Quiero's Netu. But that still means five cuts were necessary, plus an additional roster subtraction thanks to the addition of OT Greg Little yesterday via trade. Miami's announced transactions have put the roster in line with the expected cutoff of talent and leave the Dolphins one step closer to a final active roster for the start of the season. Here's how Miami achieved the roster cutoff. Miami traded for OT Greg Little, pushing the team to 92-1 and over their 91-man limit. Wide receiver Alan Hearns was placed on injured reserve due to a reported wrist injury that is expected to cost him approximately three months. The Dolphins then went to work on cuts, waving cornerback Jaitlin Askew, waved tackle Jonathan Hubbard, defensive tackle Jerome Johnson, guard Tyler Mars and tackle Tymon Paris. The decisions are enough to keep Miami compliant with the roster limits for another week before the next round of incremental cuts. And, should the Dolphins find any players available from the early cuts of the other 31 teams across the league, the team may need to drop another player in order to add any tempting waiver claims into the mix. Knowing how persistent the Dolphins have been in the past with testing the waiver wire, we'd suggest keeping an eye on the transaction wire. Roster trimming isn't a straightforward event and the Dolphins' track record of overturning rocks to try to find bargain talent may cause some unexpected turns along the way over the next few weeks.